so we wound up coming to um another store well he went in me and Kyrie. well Kyrie in the back sleep but um yeah he wanted to go into into a store or whatever but i'm just sitting back and realizing like i really see why i don't talk to people like i see why i don't vent to people and stuff like that like people will really know stuff about you that happened years ago and still try to bring it up that is so corny to me like first of all not even a lot of people know like what i go through or anything like that like it's literally only two people which is my mom and my cousin my cousin and Nigel. that's it like that's really it like other than that can't nobody really say like oh you know oh i spoke to sydney or oh i know this i know that don't nobody really even know anything like and another reason why i stopped telling people stuff too like i'm i've never been the type to like have trust issues and stuff like that like i don't care if you tell my business that's on you like i don't care like we all deal with stuff that's just how i see stuff but don't try to give me advice that you don't take you get what i'm saying like i don't do a hypocrite once i see you do some hypocritical shit i will never talk to you again about anything because you sat there and tried to downplay me as a person or my character or anything like that just for you to go do the same thing like that shit don't even make sense to me like and, and i want everybody to cut that fake ass social media shit out like y'all really be ha social media be having y'all in a chokey like when i mean a chokey i mean like y'all feel like y'all have to have a partner or y'all have to have somebody or it, it has to be like that like i don't like that like i don't be going for none of that like i don't care to you know you know be by myself and stuff like that like but what's irritating is people will see you with somebody and be assuming stuff like they'll assume like oh she took him back oh he took her back or this and other you don't know people business like then i'm starting to see the same people that was talking about me or whatever do the same stuff like it's weird like it's so freaking weird to me like like i said don't nobody know my business to be like oh i know sydney did this or oh i know this was going on with sydney nobody don't know nothing just like the same people that be talking the same people that be talking be doing the same shit that I do. Like, even when it comes to the medical field, like, when it comes to the medical field, this one girl literally told me how she don't like helping people. She don't like the, 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 the. So why would you get into the medical field? Why would you get into a nursing career where you have to help people? That don't make sense to me. And it's giving me, you money hungry, and it's giving you want to be like me. If you clearly, then on top of that, you never had a job that had anything to do with taking care of people. So why out of the fucking blue, now, now you went to school for medical like stuff like that is so corny to me like you're corny in a booty 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 bitch like i don't know maybe it's me like i cheer people on this stuff but it's nobody i don't want to be like nobody literally nobody is doing anything that i could be like oh i want to do that like i'm not an entrepreneur so i don't care for that type of stuff i don't want my own business i don't want my own company i don't want that I do not want that. Anybody who know me, y'all know what I want to do already. Nursing is my passion. I love, I love, love, love working at that psych ward. Like, I love it. Like, I cannot wait to have this baby. I'm going right back into the psych ward. Um, I love working at McDonald's too, yo. I love working at McDonald's. <laughs> love it. Um, I guess it's because, like, the speed. Like, my time goes so fast there um, because I have a lot of experience there. Anytime I do get a job at McDonald's, I automatically get in as an assistant manager. Um or even like a shift manager that's what i was doing last time um so yeah and i hate when people talk about that too like i had a bitch talk about that like oh i never worked that fast well, okay good for you because you don't have the mentality and you don't have the patience for it there's nothing wrong with working as fast food there's nothing working with retail there's nothing long as you have a job you have a job like people with that type of mindset is people y'all need to look out for and friends y'all need to look out for because if you know that your friend working in fast food why would you speak on fast food if you know your friend working retail why would you speak on retail like i don't know people always just give me weird like a job is a job to me like work it bust your ass do what you got to do and half of us all have kids we're not just working for no shoes or the latest bag or this no we working to have a roof over our kids head a car to drive in gas money like 
food to put in our kids' mouth. Like, you're you're weird if you're still worrying about the next bitch pockets. Like, like I said, I loved working at McDonald's. Loved it with a passion. Like, and like I said, because of my experience and stuff, I always grew from it. Like, I, my paychecks was always good enough that I could take my kids out. I could pay for my car. I could pay my rent. Like, and that says a lot because rent is not cheap. Cars are not cheap. It's always something that needs to be done to your car. It's always something, you know, you always need gas. Whatever the case may be. A job is a job and work your way up to the top. And little jobs like that, like, you know, McDonald's and stuff like that, be giving out the biggest scholarships. Like, although they do stuff like, um, you normally get, like, half paid off if you're going for, like, business or accounting. You know, like, stuff like that. So, I have to find, like, a job where how can I put it? I have to find a job where they'll pay for what I want to do basically but like right now it's just hard because I cannot get into a psych ward right now like I cannot do it like they're not gonna allow me to like I'm already I think I'm like five months they're not gonna allow me which is understandable because again I'm pregnant so it's understandable but again a job is a job and, and you work and you push and all of that you you think positive you don't don't think like oh I work at McDonald's oh this that work at that McDonald's save up your coins and do what you gotta do like and finesse like finesse while you're there talk to the higher higher highest manager and try to get extra pay this ain't like it's way like that's why i was really helping the teenagers like you know getting extra hours and stuff like that like i took two kids one time to go open up a bank account everything like i don't know that's just me though but again i stopped talking to people because y'all is hypocrites like <laughs> y'all is hypocrites and I just keep seeing the sneak this and I keep seeing this and the other. And, and and that's the thing too. Like I wound up just blocking people and let letting shit go. But I just keep seeing sneaky stuff. And I'm like, you gonna keep going. And then yet when I say something is, oh, I don't have time for that. Why oh, I'm 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 grown. This and this. Half y'all not grown. Y'all just have a kid. Half y'all not grown, y'all just probably got a job. That's why I can't even beef with people because y'all don't even have the same responsibilities that I got. I have to make sure it's a roof over my kid's head. I have three, about to be four children. I don't have time to house hop or this. No, I don't have time to catch lips and this and the other. If my car messed up today, I got to be on top of how my kids going to get to the doctors, how I'm going to get to my doctor's appointment, how I'm going to get to work, how um just how certain things going to run. So, yeah, if I blocked you, it was simply because there's no point in me arguing with you. There's no point in me beefing with you. It was none of that. It's corny. It's whack. But, again, if you have something you need to say, address it to me or don't say nothing. Because any little sneak, this, anything, I'm going to say something about it. Because get it off your chest. What is you What is you sitting there making a tweet for or making a status for or making an Instagram about? It's corny. It's corny. Get over it. You mad? You upset? Oh, well. Anybody I've ever talked to, I always motivate them, help them, give them resources and other. Like, even now, what I'm doing now, I'm helping people get work from home jobs. Because, once again, there's a lot of people out there who don't have, you know, their partner to, um, I don't even just want to say partner, that don't have the other parent to help out. There's There are people like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, and it's nothing wrong with working from home. Me, I would rather, you know, be out and stuff like that. But again, everybody's situation is different. I have it to where I can leave my house, you know, and I can work. But God forbid something does happen. I would need another back, you know, like another, you know, a backup basically. But yeah, so again, my what I'm doing right now is I'm helping people get work from home jobs. So even if you need help with a work from home job, let me know um i'm not oh oh you got to do this oh you got to do that no let me know i have two people right now who are hiring um and i'll give you the one girl you have to go through her email and then i have another one you have to fill out her job application um and it's certain there's certain states that i know um i know is california and new york i know those are two that you cannot live in to to work there so all my friends that live in new york don't be like oh you ain't put me on no i just knew that you cannot apply to that job so it's not fake phony none of that you know but other than that i sent out some of the um oh this is my song but yeah i sent out some of the things 
to people and yeah so that concludes it like i well this was like basically my walmart run but i didn't even record anything in walmart because you know i'm just not used to holding my phone all the time that's why i need i was just telling kwan like i need another phone or something because i'm not used to like just holding my phone all day and i hate holding my phone in public because i like to be alert i like to see what's going on i need to know especially when i'm with my babies like i need to know what's going on at all times but yes um we just got the stuff to mount the wall um and that's pretty much it. and i got some snacks because i've been you know getting food and stuff for the house like to cook dinner and stuff so i really didn't get me any snacks and then at night i'm so freaking hungry so yeah right now my things are um doritos and uh queso dip the the yellow one that be coming with the salsa so yeah that's that i am gonna go home it's already three o'clock and i'm tired like i'm ready to go to sleep i'm ready to take a nap once i go in the house i'm gonna cook the kids some lunch probably make me no i'm gonna make rice so me and kwan can finish our oxtails that i had made yesterday that i made yesterday for dinner and that is basically it by the time i upload this probably gonna be nighttime because like i said your girl gonna take a nap i need a nap y'all and i'm not even ready to take these braids out but i do want to bob like i want to bob so bad but i'm gonna rock these braids out until the braids rock me do you hear me so yes make sure you guys like comment subscribe give me some more ideas like i said i'm gonna try 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 try, try my hardest to vlog my days um because i'm really not in the house a lot like i'm always out i wake up at like eight o'clock in the morning i'll be cleaning my house um making store runs or like you know whatever i have to do for the day like or me and my mom i'm normally out with my mom a lot so me and my mom go out and just yeah you know but that's today